This is your mango tree. It's going really good. And that white stuff I put on it is that severin dust I put on yesterday that we got from Home Depot. And these are the new mango plants and they're growing good. There's one plant there. This one hasn't sprouted yet. This one is has a good good sprout. And here's another sprout over here. This is this really tiny one. So we got three of them going so far. And this like this one looks like it's beginning to, beginning to take off. So so far we got three out of the six that I planted. One I haven't seen any growth, but I think this is beginning to come up. And there's your tomato field. The tomato plantation. None of the seeds have come up yet. I'm expecting it to come up very soon. That's the update on the plantation. And this is the orange tree. I said this white dust, that's the seven dust. Because as you can tell, the white flies were voraciously eating the leaves, as you can see there. And so that's why I had to get that seven dust. Because these white flies, they are voracious eaters. They will eat an entire tree up in no time. So I got this seven dust. It keeps them going. So I, didn't, I don't see any white flies on it now. Because they don't like that seven dust. So it kills them. That's your orange tree. And this is the loquat tree. There's no loquats right now. They usually come up twice a year, but usually in the cooler months. So I'm thinking they'll probably come up with a crop of them probably sometime in November or December. These are the actual starts, the buds of them, the loquats. They're actually a very um, big Japanese delicacy. And I have these kudza plants that are cutting them into the plant. So I get a chomp them down because they will strangle the tree. So I gotta get rid of some of these kudzas. A piece of the kudza. These kudzas grow on fences a lot. And they grow very fast, especially in wet weather. Look for tree, an opportunity to grow. And I actually gotta be careful with my hand because sometimes spiders like to inhabit the oak quat tree. And these aren't these are like the really heavy duty spiders. And it puts a lot of pain. Less. And here is your perennial. It is going really big. About two feet tall. And it's going pretty well. These are very thirsty plants, so you will keep watering these constantly. Watered it this morning, about 5 o'clock this morning. And I water it usually about twice a day. And that is a really good, strong perennial. And this is the coca plum tree. And the coca plums, red tip coca plums. And these berries are edible, but they're very bland tasting. And I also, you probably know some wearing the hat that you mentioned. The hat. <laughs> but these are the taste of these things are very bland. They to have like a you can see they got a, they got a very big pit in it. So really only that waste stuff is edible. And people in Florida oops, just dropped one. But they got plenty more. They're kind of kind of old. Very bland tasting. And that, only that witch stuff is edible.
and the skin. Well, it's a little bit, little bit plant, but the food is not very good tasting. It's like, a, like I said, it's unsweet. Well, honestly, like semi sweet, very semi sweet. And there's lizards in here. And this way, this is a coca plum. People use these as hedges in, in Florida. I let it grow as big as it can in its natural state. So I like them. And there's your coconut tr palms. And the coconuts are growing on the coconut palm. And it looks like it's getting ready to rain. And here's the sod that was planted a couple weeks ago. And that is going really good, nice and green.